An IT investment should result in benefits. We should ensure that the benefits we were promised when the business case was first put forward actually have been realized. Did it actually deliver on those promised benefits? We see quite often the business case says we'll have efficiencies in this area, we'll have better utilization of resources. As auditors, we are there to provide the ears and eyes to management on whether or not those promises truly are being realized. We often see the problem is that there were many things that were spoken of that in the end were not really delivered. The system became, instead of a, an improvement, just a replacement. We need to hold that accountability that the contractor, the developers, the IT investment in the end does deliver on its promised benefits. We shall also ensure that the capabilities and functions of the project is delivered. We often see that at the beginning when the initial requirements were developed, there's a long list of functions that this system would deliver for the users. In reality, at the end, we see because time ran out and because of changes in requirements, maybe only half to two-thirds of those actual benefits were actually realized. We need to check and make sure that is there a focus on delivering what was asked for, that corners have not been cut in the case of, shall we say, trying to meet deadlines, that meant that this system did not deliver what the business really needed. Now, a good project management process should result in a project that does deliver on time, certainly within some reasonable variance. But the idea being that we don't have to rush things at the very end if we've planned things correctly at the beginning. Now, this often will also require us to ensure that those timelines were realistic when they were first set out and that we have attention to maintaining the schedule right from the first days, not where we have to try and correct things because of poor management or poor resource utilization early on in the project. We should also have a focus on ensuring that a project delivers according to its budget. That budget was set out and it should be realized it's unacceptable just to exceed that budget and sort of take that budget as a guideline. No, when the project was approved, there was a certain amount of money that was invested that was used then as part of the cost benefit and feasibility calculations. If a project is already going over budget early on in the project, then we have to question the project management techniques, the skill of the project manager, and whether or not maybe the proposals being presented are being presented factually and honestly to senior management. It could well be that things are being said that no one had any intention of living up to. I remember one project I was examining and I went to the engineer and this project was hopelessly over budget and hopelessly behind. And I said to the project uh, engineer, when we have this objective met? And he gave me a deadline. Okay. So I went back and found out that he was not even close to meeting that objective. So I said to him, what really are your timelines? <laughs> His answer was quite simply, whatever you want me to tell you, I'll tell you. That's not what we need. As auditors, we're there to make sure that management is getting the right, accurate information, not just whatever management wants to hear. That is, unless that's what management wants to hear. But we as auditors are there to make sure that they're hearing what is actually accurate, we can say. We should ensure that our IT services and assets continue to contribute to business value, that they continue to operate effectively and efficiently, that we're always looking for ways to optimize our investment. And as a part of this, of course, what we're really looking at doing is ensuring that the systems continue to be flexible and grow to meet 
uh, business needs, but also using that term that's often overused, but still accurate, to enable the business. IT enables the business to move from where it is to new areas, new areas of efficiency. We leverage what technology can do. And that should be part of our job as auditors. Very often an IT department will try to keep things working as they are, which is fine. But in the end, the vision is to move the business ahead. And so we have to ensure that the focus is on that optimization. The focus is on moving to where we can get to, both in business and in technology. 